Did you know that in Japan, a kilogram of unagi or freshwater eel can cost up to 5,000 yen, roughly 45 USD? That's more than a fine steak in many parts of the world. This delicacy enjoyed by many comes with a high price tag. And it's not just about supply and demand. The art of eel farming is a complex, time-consuming process, steeped in tradition and requiring a great deal of expertise. So what makes eel farming such a complicated business venture? Let's dive in. Eel farming begins with the collection of glass eels. Juvenile eels that are transparent and about the size of a toothpick. These little creatures are the starting point of a journey that ends on a plate in a high-end restaurant. But where do they come from and how do they get to the farms? Let's dive in. Glass eels are typically caught in the wild, often in the vast and unpredictable ocean. Imagine this, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, but the needle is transparent and the haystack is constantly moving. The collectors use fine mesh nets and a lot of patience to trap these elusive creatures during their migratory season. However, the journey from the ocean to the farm is fraught with challenges. The transportation of these tiny eels is no small feat. They are delicate and require specific conditions to survive. The water temperature, salinity, and oxygen levels need to be just right, and any changes can be catastrophic. Furthermore, glass eels are a limited resource. Overfishing and environmental changes have led to a decline in their populations. This scarcity has further driven up the cost of eel farming, making it a high-risk, high-reward venture. Once the glass eels are safely at the farm, the real work begins. Stay tuned, because the transformation from glass eel to gourmet delicacy is a fascinating process you won't want to miss. Turning these tiny transparent creatures into the large, flavorful eels that end up on dinner plates is no easy task. The journey from larvae to fully grown eel is filled with careful attention to detail and a deep understanding of the eel's needs. First and foremost, feeding these eels is a task that requires precision. They are provided with a diet primarily consisting of fish meal and oil. This diet is carefully formulated to ensure that the eels receive the nutrients they need to grow and thrive. In addition to their diet, the conditions in which the eels are kept are crucial to their growth. They require optimal water temperatures and a carefully controlled environment to prevent the spread of disease. Any slight alteration in their environment can lead to a mass outbreak of illness, which can decimate an entire population of eels. Monitoring their growth is equally as important. Eels are not quick growers. They take their sweet time. It typically takes between one to two years for these creatures to reach their market size. This long growth period is another factor that contributes to the high cost of eel. But it's not just about waiting for them to grow. It's about ensuring that they are growing at the right pace and in the right conditions. This requires regular checkups and close observation with any necessary adjustments made along the way. After months of meticulous care, the eels are finally ready for the market. But remember, the journey doesn't stop here. The market has its own challenges and complexities, but that's a story for another scene. Eel farming isn't just about raising eels, it's also about navigating a complex and ever-changing market. You see, the market for eel is a global phenomenon, with certain regions displaying a particular appetite for this slippery delicacy. For instance, Japan stands as a significant consumer of eel, causing a surge in demand and subsequently in eel prices. This high demand presents both opportunities and challenges. On one hand, it opens up a lucrative market for eel farmers. On the other, it increases the pressure on wild eel populations and raises concerns about sustainability. This is where the role of aquaculture steps in, providing a viable alternative to wild catch and offering a more sustainable path forward. As we look toward the future, the potential for sustainable eel farming practices shines bright. Imagine a world where eel farms not only satisfy the culinary cravings of millions, but also contribute positively to our environment. Innovative techniques and technologies are already being explored and implemented, promising a more eco-friendly and efficient farming process. At the end of the day, the goal is to strike a balance, a balance between meeting market demand and ensuring the longevity of eel populations. It's a delicate dance, but one that we must master 
for the sake of our planet and our palates. Eel farming is a challenging but rewarding industry, with the potential to provide a sustainable source of this delicious delicacy for years to come.